Let me get a shot from the backside, Max. So I can... Once you look all the way through the case, you can see the power supply on the middle left-hand side of the screen there. Yeah, I can. I got on video. You can see there's a chunk of dry ice that I put on top of the north ridge there. It sank through. Yeah. Awesome. Sank into the fence. Is that on the other side of the thing? Right? Okay. Yeah. There. Is that a good shot of it? Yeah. Yeah. And I have a chunk right on the PCI slots too. Just on that corner of the board just for the heck of it. Yep. Well, we want uh, uniform cooling in these overclocking experiments. Cooling specific parts around the whole thing at the same time. That's right. Right now, 3.143. So we went from 2.4 to 3.143 .1 megahertz. That oil With is it. getting cold. Because you can tell by how the bubbles move in it once they're slowing the down. Ring, they're just suspended. Mike, what was our stock uh, bus speed? 200 megahertz. 200, and we're up 262 times 12. Okay. And our temps have stayed pretty much the same. According to this, 1615, 1615, so we're matching up pretty much. Overclock. Now, uh, do you still have our extreme overclock profile? This is it. Oh, okay. That, I thought we were going to 3.3. That's what we always. No, this was this was what we backed it back down to. But this here is just a base to show that it, it can do this. Go from 2.4 2 to 3.1. Stable. Stable. Any problems. Overclocked. Thirty-one percent. Right there, two sixty-two. Original two hundred overclocked. Thirty-one percent. And it's stable. Okay. That's on my AMD Athlon LE sixteen twenty, which is basically a. 3800 series single core Athlon processor. So we used a, a basic board that has a decent overclocking potential and a basic processor. Um, for the first part of the test, we didn't want to uh, cook expensive parts if we could help it. So now that we know uh, that the uh, oil bath is uh, a very stable platform. Um, we'll be able to uh, incorporate uh, much better parts in the future. And the second part of our operation is uh, improving the, uh, uh, further improving the constant cooling capability rather than doing this uh, dry ice experiment. Um, and that's with the use of our cool cooler, which is a totally separate entity from the computer itself. It does have shares the uh, impe impeller shares some power from the computer. It's 12 volt. Um, so that does plug into the computer, but uh, otherwise than that, it's uh, so far at this point independent.